guys, we're back. And we are on our way to Heliodor. Lord knows, I think that's a dumb decision, but there you have it. Eric can eat something from one of his downtown dwellings. And uh, we're gonna go get it. Even though I have a feeling it's not gonna go that way, that well. Because it never does. But who knows, maybe they'll surprise me. Welcome to downtown Heliodor, home to rogues, ruffians, and all my other favorite kinds of people. About a year ago, me and Dirk, my partner in crime, managed to uh, acquire one of the royal family's most precious possessions, the Red Orb. They got wise and pulled me in eventually, but not before we'd stashed it somewhere safe so we could pick it up later. What happened to Dirk? Right down there is the biggest, stinkingest garbage pile in all of Heliodor. That's not a word. Me and Dirk buried the orb slap bang in the middle of it. After all, no one would ever think of looking for it there. We're criminal geniuses, I tell you. Unless they moved the pile of garbage. Time to go liberate that loot to the garbage pile. Establish it. It may be small, but it's perfectly formed. You'll have a great night's sleep, I guarantee it. Welcome to our inn, weary travelers. You must be exhausted at this late hour. Would you like to spend the night or just rest for a while? In either case, I can rest off of your rate of ten gold coins. You're pretty good, but I don't think I need it. Okay, let's see what you gotta say. Welcome to downtown Eliador, the grimy little secret the posh folks over the wall don't want you to know about. Ha! <laughs> you ain't from around here, are you? Well, if you ain't got a reason to stick around, I wouldn't bother. What's up? You're looking for the dump? Well, you're in the right part of town for rubbish. There's a great big pile of it right in the middle. Good to know. Ooh, ain't it awful? I don't know much about this luminary character, but I know they should lock him up and throw away the key. Them guards need to get off their backsides and track them down. Why? Oh, and look at her face. So sanctimonious. There's the church. I should probably actually really save now. for swords bristling with blades. It's a dangerous world out there, so it pays to be prepared. Welcome to the weapon shop. How may I help you? Hmm. Copper sword. Copper chopper. Oh. Huh. Bronze knife. Birchwood boomerang. Basic boomerang lit up on the bird wood of a birch tree. That would bring him real down. Bronze knife, though. Let's go ahead and get that. Let's put it on him. Yes. Okay. And... Hmm. The copper chopper. Yeah, 
hand, then I suppose I probably couldn't use... Hmm. We'll just go with this for now. And we can probably... poor part of town, so I'm supposing there's not a whole lot. But you never know, so... Hmm. Right to circle. Where... Where's he hiding? You can't find Camo anywhere. He's the undisputed hide-and-seek champion of Eliodor. Somebody's been keeping their stuff, and I'm about to take it. But luck, Norn finds a seed of agility, he puts it in the bag. But luck indeed. I see a treasure chest over there. How would I get to it? Hmm, I suppose there must be a way to grab hold of it there. Okay. Oh, that's not fall down. I wish I can't remember. Is there fall damage in this game? I think there isn't. Yeah, there's no fall damage. Let's go up this one. come this way, but I can't find them anywhere. Always come back to get the chest. Woo! He started walking off, and I about had a heart attack. Yeah! How did I end up here? How did things come to this? How am I gonna get out of this one? Eh? Who are you? Do you want something? Because if not, I recommend you clear it off. I've got enough on my plate without you bothering me. Or maybe I'm a little too soon for this one. That sometimes happens. Well, we're gonna go here and jump off and get that treasure chest. It better be something good. Drusillion Guinea. There we 
go. Only five, but hey, five's five. You know, every penny counts. Started that whole area side quest. Welcome and all that. Me stock may not be much to look at. That is the quality that counts. I'll go to the item shop. How can I serve you? Holy water scares off weaker monsters consumed upon use. I probably won't ever use that. is legendary. It's filthy. It's got no roof and the food's bleeding awful. But the drinks are cheap and the dancers. <laughs> They're out of this world. I'll bet you air for an eye full of Roxy and all, ain't ya? Sure. Well, then your luck's about as good as mine, mate. Roxy ain't here. She's on the other side of the wall, strutting her stuff for all them posh lot up there. I've been waiting for her to get back for days. No, oh, I can't wait to see her again. Come on, Rox. See the big tough looking bloke over there? Well, he's only been sitting there for days waiting for that dancer, Roxy, to come back. Talk about moon-eyed. You're lost, mate. Trust me, she's the bee's knees. And then some. The bee's knees, huh? I haven't heard that one in a long time. You after some fake sunshine? Well, we don't serve kids in here. Sling your look. Or are you looking for work? Well, you can't have all the shifts you want as long as... You, well, you can have all the shifts you want as long as you don't mind not getting paid. Nah, uh, uh I'm pretty sure nobody likes not getting paid. Kind of a big deal. Getting paid and all that. This is the spot. Keep a lookout, okay? I'm going to grab the loot. Now, it was around here somewhere. It's definitely here. I'm a thousand percent sure. Uh, it's not here. Maybe Dirk took it. You gotta be kidding me. Me and Dirk were the only ones who knew where it was. Wait a minute. That rat! He must have done the dirty on me and taken it for himself. Damn it! I should have known! A thieving little... Wait till I get my hands on it. But aren't you trying to do the exact same thing? He just did I'm it I'm gonna find him. And you're gonna help me. Okay. The inn we used to crash at is just over there. Come on, it's the only one with an upstairs. You can't miss it. So there's two inns? Oh boy. All right, mate, want to hear something good? I'll cost you, mind you. Five gold coins for some proper juicy info. What do you say? Bet you're having me on, but okay. Right, so if it's juicy and fill you're after, I've got it. Firstly, oranges are an excellent source of juice. But don't forget about bananas. Them little fellas are juicier than you think. What, you don't believe me? Go and get some fruit and try it out for yourself. Juice is the future. You better believe it. Well, I mean, he didn't lie to me. That is some juicy info. You won't find armor at better prices than this, believe me. Brand spanking new kit at knockdown prices. You can't say fairer than that. Welcome to the armor shop. Let's see here. Leather shield. Leather hat. I already own two of those. Boxer, sh boxer shorts. Old underclothes that smell faintly of sweat and regret. <laughs> Leather armor. They both could use that. Hmm. Let's see. Another shield. Better than a pot lid, that's for certain. Norin. Yes, let's go ahead and put that in there. 
There we go. And let's say... Let's go ahead and give that to you. Okay. Alrighty. And I think I'll leave off. He's got pretty good defense at the moment, so... I'm not that worried. We're playing hide and seek, but I can't find Camo anywhere. He's too bleeding good. I bet he went up that ladder. It's not fair. He knows I'm scared of heights. Don't be scared of heights. A few, a few. Are you sleeping in like the ashes? Dust or whatever. It's pretty wild in me younger days, let me tell ya. Always up to no good I was. I spent a fair bit of time in the dungeons for me troubles and all. But now I'm repaying me debt to society by working as a night watchman. Trust me, crime don't pay. So keep your nose clean and stay out of trouble. Got it, mister. Hee hee hee. Welcome to the mysterious realm of the magnificent mistress bed. Don't cross me, palm with silver, and I'll... And I'll read your fortune anyway. Well, fancy it. I knew you'd say that. Right, here goes. Tell me, mysterious rules of fate. What's this lank aired lad ear got on his plate? Oh dear me, dear oh dear oh dear. I see pain and sadness and a big help and no grief and misfortune to boot. But do not despair. You can avoid all this mystery, misery with just one wise investment. This top notch item would normally cost you an arm and a leg, but I'll sell it to you for the draw droppingly knockdown price of only 100 gold coins. So what do you say? No. What? After I give you a free rating and all? Cheeky little toe rag. Well, don't blame me. This guy comes crashing down on your head. Go on, clear off. What do you expect? You didn't even tell me what it would do. I expect I can always come back. Let's see here. Let's just keep going this way for right now. What a great night. Ah, oh, I wouldn't trade me job for anything. Not in a million years. fall asleep. These will nick me vegetables. What do you think you're staring at, huh? Told us doing at the top. Them numpties up at the castle locked up some luminary bloke who's supposed to bring disaster and destruction, and then they went and let him escape. I went on the loose, I'll play Avic with the price of veg. I can barely scrape the cash together for a bunch of major carrots as it is. idea. Plant those carrots instead. Ooh, ladder. Sam, you going up this way this is a good idea. Anything this way? This way? No, this way. Hello, love. This way. Sorry, it ain't quite that simple at the mo. Someone's pinch tapped the planks again. They'll repair it eventually, but it'll take a while, I reckon. I don't care, I can get up anyway. Uh, Alright then. So much for that. Treasure chest in there. Tell me, can I get in? It's another way. Ugh, no, of course not. All right, where's that in? Who's this way? All right, away we go. This old place hasn't changed a bit. Back in our thieving days, Dirk and me used to lay low here whenever things got hairy. 
Ruby? Ruby, you there? It's me, Eric. There's something I need to ask you. Ruby runs the place. It looks like she's not around, but if anyone knows where Dirk is, it's her. Which means we'll have to go find her. So here's the plan. There's a tower they use to look out for fires. You're going to climb up there and keep an eye out for Ruby. I'll check a couple of other spots. Don't worry, you can't miss her. She's the only redhead in town. A redhead named Ruby? Her parents were so imaginative. Don't mind me, I'm just going up here real quick. I'm a thief, I can't help it. But in my defense, nobody ever gives the mission critical main character the life-saving things he needs. I always find it funny. This king or that king or that town or this town, they tell you, go do this. But do they ever tell you Do they ever tell you? Get your fresh fruit and veg. Roll up, roll up, get your fresh veg here. I got your onions, your spuds, the whole lot. Don't go eat it in raw, mind you. Now you want to boil them for a good two, three hours first. Maybe disinfect them a bit and all. See the veg in the shop? Well, guess who smuggles it over from the other side of the wall? That's right, yours truly. It's good stuff, eh? I mean, fair enough, some of it's a little on the, um, ripe side. But it's still tasty. You wouldn't believe the things them rich lot chuck away. life for me. I don't want to work or have responsibility or have to answer to anyone. No, this is exactly where I want to be. Staring at a wall. That sounds like so much fun. Oh boy, that is quite the life. Get out of here! Go on! Nothing looks wrong with her. <laughs> What's he even doing on this side of town? Is this the Roxy? Ah! Good dog. Good doggy. Stay. Ah! 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 Here's Ruby. Ah! She still won't let me over. can't find Ruby anywhere. How about you? Any luck? You saw her heading back to the inn? Great! Let's head over there and find out what she knows. So how was she able to get passage over the wall? You look very nice. Life isn't easy for a trainee sorceress, let me tell you. I mean, how am I supposed to do any magic with my tummy rumbling like this? I mean, I suppose you could sell any of those things that are loitering your body. Littering your body and, you know, be able to eat for a long time. If only there were a spell that could summon a big loaf of freshly baked bread. Ugh. Bread. No, thank you. Bread's gross. I don't know. It's 
small quantities of snot. Well, if it isn't my favorite landlady. Huh. Welcome to our rumble. <gasps> Strike a light! If it ain't me favorite little tea leaf! Last I heard, they locked you up and thrown away the key. Hang about. You've gone and escaped, ain't ya? You and your friend here are the fugitives everyone's talking about. Well, I know not to stick me big nose in where it ain't wanted. You always did like to sail close to the wind. Don't worry, I won't be here long. I just need to know where Dirk is. Have you seen him? Dirk, eh? Now there's a name I ain't heard in a while. Didn't he open some fancy shop up by the castle? Yeah, that was it. Raking in the cash is, or so they say. That can't be right. The rent up there is crazy. Where would he find the money? By selling the Wait red ore. second. He sold it, didn't he? The rat sold the damned orb! Look, in this part of town you don't go asking too many questions, you know that. If you want more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. You're right. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. We'll get out of your hair. Well, I guess if he thought that you were locked up forever... No sense in not getting the ore. That no good traitor! I'll bet he sold me out and sold the ore. And also he could move up in the world. Well, I'll get what I'm owed. You'll see. <sighs> but we'll need to get past that sentry if we're gonna head uptown and find him. Wait, isn't he... I remember hearing that one of the guards is terrified of dogs. I think it was him. Convenient. Maybe we can borrow one of somebody. Convenient that he's terrified of them and convenient that there's a dog right there. <laughs> nice one, Bullseye. That great big coward of a dog nearly weed himself when he saw you. What do you think you're staring at, huh? Get lost. Hey, what? You wanna borrow me, dog? Give it a giraffe, ain't ya? Look, I ain't got time for this. Go on, sing your ook. Bullseye ears, a lone wolf like me. You don't take kindly to strangers. Ah, oh, but you know what? Some oily water and a buzzberry tree might change his mind. What are you gawping at me like that for? It ain't like I'm asking much. Just go and check the tree and grab some berries, ain't it? Go out of town, down the walkway, fang, and straight on. Big tree, funny berries on it. Bosh. And as for Oli Waterer, that's easy. Buy it from a shop. And remember, I didn't say Oli Water or Buzzberries. I want them both, otherwise, no deal. Okay. I think I have the berries. Buzzberries. Now I have two already. But I don't think I have. Holy water was what I said I didn't need, wasn't it? Yeah, I specifically said I wasn't. Now we know his weak spot. Petrified he was. How did he make it through guard school? That's what I want to know. Ah, oh, that's the funniest thing I've seen in years. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I think it's odd too. I can't remember the last time I laughed that much. Go ahead and get by. 
are bright. Little. I suppose it's a little too much to be asking something for nothing, but still. What does she need a whole wheat flour for? Buzzberry, sure. To eat, I get it. Let's see now. Yeah, that looks like what I asked for. Blimey, I actually brought it. Mug. Here, Bullseye, it's your favorite. Buzzberries. We'll share these, alright? Good, ain't they? Right, let's sprinkle this holy water on ya, shall we? Here we go. Now the monsters are still clear when you go playing outside town. Aww. Okay, I understand now. Nice. Woof, woof. What? Don't look at me like that. Bullseye looks after me and I look after him. Anyway, I promise is a promise. He's yours for a bit. Look after him, alright? Bullseye, listen. Go and play with the nice man for, for a little bit, okay? Dog will just stay. Yes, she's moved. Oh, hello. Oh, These are the kind that don't break. Oh shit! <laughs> Oops. My bad. Sorry for the language. <laughs> That's what I get for, uh, trying that. Okay. And I knew that wasn't the kind that did anything, too. So... Camo went. Good gracious, no wonder nobody can find him. When there's a lot of people living in a small place, you have to build up works. That's why I live up here on the second floor. I ain't saying it's ideal, mind you. The floor is all wonky and getting up and down is a right old pain. Still, it's own. Oh, treasure. Boxer shorts. <laughs> I'm Camo, the king of hide and seek. Wait, don't tell me you're playing too. Yeah, you got me. I can't believe I got found by a grown up. I need to up my game. Tell you what, how about we make a little deal? Promise me you won't tell no one where I am, and I'll tell you something top secret. Here it goes. Well, you know the redhead who runs the inn? When she was younger, she looked exactly like Roxy the dancer. And you know what's weirder? Their end writing is exactly the same too. Nuts in it. I keep meaning to get her to write a letter pretending to be Roxy. Reckon I could cause some havoc with that. <laughs> Is she Roxy? She's 
looks a little too uh, big to be a dancer, though. We'll be honest. Okay, here we go. Halt! This gate leads to the nice part of town. My job is to protect respectable people from being bothered by rabble and riffraff. In other words, you. What makes you think that they're rabble and riffraff? They're in nice clothes. <laughs> No, no, not a, d a, d a dog, anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> Worked like a charm. Now to head up to where all the rich folks live and find out what the heck Dirk thinks he's up to. Kind of happened to a nicer guy. On one hand, I feel bad because I used to be terrified of dogs. But, uh, on the other, it's just a game. Oh, hello. I know where we are. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, boy. We are actually going to end it here, um, and the next episode we'll go to Dirk's shop and see what he has to say for himself. I imagine he'll just call the guards and we'll end up right back where we started. Or something to that effect. Or we'll have to escape. Or something to that effect. I and mean, maybe he won't be there and we'll just grab as much loot as we can and escape. I don't know, but we'll find out that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.